I got a microphone. So this idea has been haunting me for a while now and I think it's time to finally purge it from my mind. You know how people go to wine tastings and they do the thing where they smell it and they swish it around in their mouth and they detect the notes of wood and shit like that. A little while ago I had a thought and that thought was why don't we do that with other beverages? So as you can see behind me I have a variety of uh, cups with a variety of beverages that we're gonna taste as if they were wine. <laughs> this could literally just be a video of me drinking various beverages for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't think anything's gonna happen. It's just, I just need to know. I need to know what the undertones are to Coca-Cola. First off, I need to learn how to wine taste. I've never done it. So let's look up a YouTube tutorial. How to taste wine like a sommelier. Boom boom baby. This is um, Maneuvering Wine with Style by Charles Springfield. So shout out to Charles. Do you want to enjoy wine like a sommelier? Yeah. Uh oh. What is that? What is that? All right, my friends. The five S's of wine tasting are to see, swirl, sip, sniff, and savor. Now I'll demonstrate this for you, but be sure to watch this again and grab your favorite glass of wine and go through the process. All right, so we gotta see, swirl, sip, sniff, and savor. Finally, we get to taste the juice. But y'all, people who love wine really love wine. To really get all the nuances out of the wine, we want to incorporate a slurping technique to our sip. Bring the glass of wine to your mouth and slurp the wine in. When the wine is in your mouth, you want to purse your lips as if you're going to whistle, but instead you breathe in air, further letting air in your mouth and allowing you to smell the wine through your retronasal passages that are found in the back of your throat. Next, move the wine around your mouth as if you would water or mouthwash after brushing your teeth. Do that maybe for 10, 20, 30 seconds and then swallow. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous about this suck thing, but um, we're going to start out with wine. You can tell by the fact that this is a mini bottle of Barefoot Moscato. You want to focus? It's not gonna. Um, that I am a wine connoisseur, because this is the only wine I had in my fridge. First we gotta see. Hold it up to the light. It looks like decently hydrated urine is how I would describe the color. You know, like when you pee and you look back in the toilet and you're like, that's not bad. I drank a good amount of water today. Am I exposing myself? All right, then he's in to smell it. Should, do I waft or do I just sniff? I mean, it smells like Moscato. I know that I should say fruity, I think, because I think that's why I like Moscato. All right, now it's time for the, f I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Oh, I was gonna put all these in wine glasses, but I'm not doing all those dishes. Okay. I hated that. Oh, I <coughs> What? Listen, I know that Barefoot is cheap wine, but y'all be doing this with wine? Oh. My God. If you want to take a wine that you enjoy and just make yourself fucking hate it, do that. So if that's how bad the wine was, um, I'm really excited for the rest of these. So next up, we've got Nestle Pure Life Revive. Um, this is lemon-flavored water, and it, I thought it'd be a good one for this because it has magnesium in it, which is supposed to help reduce tiredness and fatigue, which, like, anything that promises me energy, I will buy large quantities of. But I also was like, am I going to be able to taste the magnesium? Never tried this water before. My first time trying it is going to be all slurping and sipping. Okay. See? It looks like water. Smell. It doesn't really have a smell. I'm not getting any lemon. I'm just 
doing this so wrong or if wine tasting sucks. I like this water. The first sip when I swallowed it too early, I was like, that's delightful. I'm gonna finish this bottle. I'm just gonna drink it like a normal person. The, the second it went into my mouth, I was like, you know what? That's pretty good. And then I did the fish thing and then I swished it around. And the more I did, the more I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever tasted. And it's literally just lemon water. So, I did not get any notes of magnesium though, but I don't know what magnesium would taste like. Next up, we've got my favorite beverage on the planet. Not just is it Coca-Cola. It is the superior Coca-Cola. It is the only Coca-Cola that matters. McDonald's Coke. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I got this yesterday and it's pretty flat. I'm so nervous because those last two really made me hate. I usually like Barefoot and swishing around like that made me fucking hate it. So if I hate McDonald's Coke after this, I'm probably better for my fucking health. I'm not gonna sip it through a straw, okay, because that's not right. I gotta make Charles Springfield proud and if he saw me sipping through a straw, he would, oh my god. So let's hold it up to the light. <laughs> you can't because the cup's not clear. It's brown and you can tell that there used to be ice in it that is now melted. You guys, I'm not good at this note shit. I'm really not. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. That wasn't bad. Maybe because this has absolutely no flavor. Well, let me try it without doing it like that. Yeah, this is so flat. I would put this, honestly, I would put this ahead of the lemon water right now. Just because it had so little taste that it was fine. So our order right now is the McDonald's Coke, the Nestle Revive, and then the Barefoot. We have two more, and um, I'm nervous about these. <sighs> I wanted this video to be worthwhile, so I was like, what would be fun to watch someone taste like wine? So we're gonna finish out with two dairy products. We've got some mocha cold brew and some milk. I'm gonna start with the cold brew, because I feel like this might actually be really good if I get all the notes of the coffee. It's a nice light brown. Does it have legs? Does it have legs? I don't know what legs are, but my uncle says it and he drinks a lot of wine. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, that actually fucking slapped. <laughs> this might have to be put to the top. I think because this probably had the most flavors to taste because it had the coffee and the mocha. And that's only two flavors, but I mean, that's more than anything else had. I feel like I really got to know the coffee better, you know? Like, cause usually when I'm drinking coffee, I'm just chugging it, but I really got acquainted with the coffee. This is, this is gonna go up to the front. I don't, I don't drink milk. I never have been a milk drinker. I'm lactose intolerant, but that has nothing to do with why I don't drink milk because this has a shit ton of cream in it. I just, even as a child, I was like, that shit's gross. But this is lactose free milk. So it's not dairy free. It is milk, but with the lactose removed. It's lactate. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's a pretty good brand for those with us with, um, that are lactosely challenged. I'm really just putting it off. I'm really just putting it off. Okay. Oh God, watching it swirl. <laughs> Never watch milk swirl. Can you just, I'm not gonna say what it makes me think of, but I think we know. I can, I wish I could say that I was overreacting to that. Um, 
but that was one of the worst things I've ever done in my life. So our final ranking is going to be obvious last place, the milk. This isn't even on the list. This is so not on the list that it's not even funny. I am going to have nightmares about swishing this milk around my mouth. Next up is the barefoot. I don't know if I can ever drink barefoot again. Oh my god, this was so bad. And we've got the Nestle Revive Lemon, which I'm actually excited to drink the rest of this bottle, um, but it just didn't really <laughs> lend itself to being swished and sucked around. In second place, we've got our flat McDonald's Coke. Honestly, I was expecting this to be number one because like I said, this is my favorite drink on the planet, but you guys, this mocha cold brew, she did it. If you are ever going to taste anything as you would taste wine, make it be cold brew. Please, please, please don't do milk. Um, I, d I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I just don't know how I'm going to recover. This was a, such a dumb video, but I had a lot of fun actually. <laughs> So if you guys want to see me try anything else, like wine, let me know. Because I mean, what, this was only one, two, three, four, this was only five beverages. There's so many more beverages out in the world. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and ring the bell. Let me know in the comments if you have ever tried to taste anything like wine. Please let me know I'm not the only crazy person. I feel like somebody has to have done this before. I haven't looked, but I really feel like someone must have. That is really good. I am going to go throw up.